thank you so much for coming in this evening. We're very pleased to have you, and we're so happy to have Donna Schwank back here. I don't know if anybody has caught a class with her before, but she's fun. Yes. So she's going to tell you about the cultured vegetables tonight. Uh, right now, I know Macy has a few things to say, so I'll go ahead and turn it over here. Thanks again for coming tonight. We're so happy to have Donna. Thank you. Uh, just a couple things really quick, guys. There's an email sign-up. There should be two of them floating around. Even if you are already on both the separate emails, sign up, and then I will send out information. If you have questions from tonight specifically, you'll get your own little personal email. Um, that being said, please hold all of your questions until the demonstration is over. If you can, write them down, and then you can ask Donna. All right? Thank you. How many of you are glad that it's not 105 outside today? <laughs> Kansas City, right? What did they say, 93? Isn't that, I think that's a great temperature, right? <laughs> I was excited when I heard it wasn't going to be so hot because fermented vegetables that we're making tonight tend to ferment and hiss in my car um, on the way over here when uh, it's really warm in my car. I'm so appreciative of all you guys coming out to this class tonight. It means a lot to me to be able to share with you these stories and these parts of my lives that just these foods that I make that mean so much to me. And you don't have to believe me. You want me to speak up? You don't have to believe me. These foods will convince you themselves. And I know that because that happened to me and it happened to my family and it happened to my friends. And when I first started making what I call cultured foods or fermented foods uh, about 11 years ago, um, I was the only one I knew doing it. So my family was leery and uh, I tried to coerce them into trying my culture vegetables. And I wasn't very successful, so I took the path of least resistance and found my son DJ, who I convinced to try some culture vegetables. Now, hindsight, I should have probably not the first thing I gave him was cultured beets. I probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> beets tend to look bad. They look red and bloody. And he stood in the kitchen and said, Mom, I'm going to try this, but I feel like I'm on that show Fear Factor. And I'm drinking blood, and I am not going to get the million dollars. So he tried it, but it wasn't a very successful venture. So I quit trying to convince them to eat them, and I just decided I was going to eat them myself. And I was seeing some really amazing benefits myself. But what really happened to me was one particular afternoon, it was winter time and I had made my family dinner and I had made them artichoke dip, which was not fermented and which was not culture. But something was wrong with the spinach or the artichokes. I'm still not sure which one it was, but they it gave us all food poisoning. And Macy, my daughter Macy, my husband Ron and I all got really, really sick. Uh, I felt delirious. We were all in the beds just completely unable to take care of ourselves. My little girl Holly hadn't had any and my son DJ was working and he came home early to take care of my little girl. Came home and he said it looked like a massacre because we were all in the you know comatose positions not doing very well. And um, I, as I was laying in bed I remembered something I had read on the internet about cultured vegetables. That there was uh, during the bird flu ep epidemic they had given some of the chickens the kimchi, which is a cultured vegetable, and it had killed the bird flu in the chickens. And they went back to being normal chickens. And I was laying in bed and I dragged myself to the kitchen and I didn't even get a spoon. I just took the cultured vegetables and swigged them because the spoon was way over there and I wasn't going. Went back to bed and honest to goodness, 20 minutes later I was up doing dishes. I could not believe it. I was so sick. I could not believe that it would be that effective for me. And my husband and Macy uh, were still sick in bed and were like, how are you walking around? How are you doing that? And it was the culture of vegetables. And that was the day that they really convinced me of what they could do.